What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Magna F. Back with the stretching and Sleepy Luca. And we're going back to his 2019 album, White Xmas Lies. I looked up the, the date between the two reactions. And the next tune is a French phrase which translates to Caprice of the Gods, which is to say the seemingly arbitrary or mercurial whims of the gods, which is an interesting um, and I think very appropriate to the album um, idea in the sense that most holiday songs and Christmas songs they're built around the idea of the supernatural or religious elements of the holiday being in you know harmony and exactly um, the rhythms and cycles they're supposed to be and humans dutifully um, doing their part to celebrate those holidays and so on whereas Caprice of the Gods comes across as you know things are unpredictable and they they seem arbitrary and maybe not related to people trying to do what's right or you know people doing what's wrong and seemingly not paying the consequences so it seems um, you know like some ancient writers where they're trying to figure out like are these outcomes that we see in the world are they the product of these gods um, up in the sky who want certain things to happen and why then do they seem to not go the way you would expect when they've been propitiated in the correct way and so on so I think it introduces into the Christmas like holiday music tradition, which again is more about, you know, nostalgic um, and celebratory feelings of things being exactly as they should with a, you know, man, things are hard to predict. And if, you know, there are gods up there, they seem to, you know, treat us very mercurially and capriciously. So I enjoy like introducing that kind of concept into this album, which seems very apropos. So. I'll stop talking. We'll listen to it. This is Magna F. The track is a French phrase, which again translates to Caprice of the Gods, and it's from the 2019 album White Xmas Lies. <laughs>
It's another tune where it sounds like, you know, the mags that I've heard on earlier albums. Um, so I'm not sure why those first two tracks, you know, he sounded, you could hear the aging a little bit more in his voice. But um, another one where the the delicate uh, fragility of some of his line deliveries, I think, really accentuates the emotion of the tune. But again, it's, you know, like, let's, you know, fo if you follow me and like, let's start again. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happening, but um, I was thinking like that part, not the final part where it sort of went down to a more um, soft and intimate ending, uh, fitting in with the way the tune came in. Um, but just before that, it was there was a lot going on. It was sort of loud, and there were some different elements, including one or two that sounded perhaps a bit dissonant. And I was thinking that that sounded, you know, almost confusing, cacophonous. And I was thinking that. You know, that idea, the caprice of the gods, that, like, it's hard to know what to expect and you're hoping for certain things to happen and you're, you know, perhaps praying for them to play out that way, but you don't really know, like, what's happening. So I felt like maybe there was some, like, sonic articulation of the theme of the title, but I heard lyrics that, you know, suggest there's um, much more to it. Hello again. I was so close, uh, but I did feel like I wanted to, like, properly finish it off, so... I had to come back and shoot and add on and repeat what I said a few minutes ago, which is basically um, that I enjoyed the um, the not only the sonics and the um, what I caught from the themes, which again I'm curious to hear what people have to say about this one. Um, but I'm enjoying this idea uh, more and more as we get into it of a holiday album that's you know not your typical one, a holiday album that's about the the painful moments and spaces in between the idyllic, you know, song singing and, um, like, family meal enjoying uh, more common, like, tropes of a holiday season. Um, so again, uh, shout out to uh, Mags for his uh, um, classic vocal delivery of that sort of painful vulnerability. Uh, shout out to the Sonics, which, you know, it was interesting the way the tune unfolded. It had a bit more of, like, an acoustic, like, soft feel, but it did get to like a bigger intensity eventually um, like I said that the rolling in of the um, the kick drum or the sorry not the kick drum the snare um, that surprised me when that happened and then it got to that very intense place before then um, de-escalating back down to the way that it came in so um, yeah <clears throat> enjoy the progression of the track enjoy the unfolding of it and I'm liking the idea of this album this you know, pain sort of holiday album. So shout out to Mags for the idea in general. Shout out to Luca for sleeping and just ignoring everything that's happening. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.